Hi, my name is Rob Barrett, and you're watching Cooking for Dads. I'm out on this cold Minnesota night showing you a couple new techniques I have for making ice luminaries and little ice sculptures. Here's some new tips. Alright, I'm on my back porch with all my little freezing modules going on for various ice things that are being made. This is one of the original ones. This one here is solid and then we drilled it out with the drill. I can show you the clip of that. To get started, get a bunch of big balloons, about 12 inches. They're about $3 for a pack of 50 and you can go to the spigot and fill them up. I like to get the white kind because then the sun doesn't cause as much heat during the day when if the sun hits them. Put them on the deck, let them sit for a couple nights until they freeze. If you don't let them freeze all the way solid like this one, break off the bottom. See how it's not completely frozen all the way through? It's got about an inch border. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break the bottom like that and dump it out. So you've got this kind of cool thick dome with a hole in the bottom. We're going to put the candle there and set it on top. But in order to get some air to breathe, we need to drill a hole in top. So we're going to do that. There you go. And that is all you need. So that is one way of doing it. That's a little bit easier than letting it freeze all the way solid and then drilling the whole big hole out. All right, I'm just going to light the candle. And we're going to set this right on top of it, right there. I'm not going to do Christmas lights this year. I'm going to set these all around the front of the yard because, you know, I have to be different. The other tip is to go to the dollar store and get some little plastic bowls or plates like this. So what it helps do is keep the balloons upright, like down here. See how that's standing upright? Now if you come over here, you can see this one here lies flat. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that one. Put a little hole in there. Okay, here's a bucket. It's all filled with water. And you can see about an inch of the edge is frozen and the top is frozen, so we're gonna use this. We're gonna take this inside and let it loosen up for a little bit first. All right, so this one's nicely loosened up. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna dump her out. She's got a nice little hole on top already. If I had a hammer, dump out this water. Those steps are gonna be a little slippy now, maybe. So, if you want, like this one is a little wobbly because the water expanded right there on top. So you have to chip that away if you want it to lay flat on a hard surface. There we go. All right, so all you have to do is light a candle and put that down into the middle here. And there you go. Another fun thing to do is to take PVC pipe and fill it with water. You can get a nice ice pillar out of it. You run hot water over this, dump it out, and a pillar comes out, and you can use that to put these on top of, which is pretty cool. Of course, I've made my big bowl mold here, and I'm making a big, gigantic ice bowl. It's always kind of fun. We're gonna drill a hole in the middle of that, put some candles in it, put that on one of those upside down buckets. So you have kind of a pillar with a bowl on top, like go Olympics, yay!
because that's how you make various ice globes and ice luminaries. My name's Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads, or in this case, ice globing or ice sculpturing for dads, moms, kids, whomever. Ice globe well. Can you see it though? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I can see a lot. No, you can't. Oh, yeah, now you can. No, you can't. Hold on. I didn't get it on right. <laughs> 